All right. Fine. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy with more important things than talking to you? <laughs> What's the best way to fry a chicken? Why do you keep asking me about frying chicken? <laughs> Can't you see I'm not in the mood to talk about it? But since you insist, I already told you the best way to fry a chicken. If you weren't paying attention earlier, then that's your problem, <laughs> not mine. Can you remind me? Sci fi, I'll remind you, but don't expect me to be happy about it. The best way to fry a chicken is to marinate it in a flavorful brine, dredge it in seasoned flour, and fry it in hot oil until it's golden brown and crispy on the outside and fully cooked on the inside. Is that clear enough for you? It is very clear. Thank you so much, sir. Don't mention it. Just be sure to pay attention next time. Will you? I don't have all day to repeat myself. Uh, how do I make mac and cheese? Making mac and cheese is easy, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be happy about explaining it to you. <laughs> Here's a simple recipe that you can try. Ingredients. Eight ounces elbow macaroni, one slash four cup unsalted butter, one slash four cup all-purpose flour, two cups whole milk, one cup grated cheddar cheese, one slash two cup grated Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper to taste instructions. Cook the elbow macaroni according to package instructions until al dente. Drain and set aside. In a separate saucepan, melt the unsalted butter over medium heat. Oh my gosh. Add the all-purpose flour and stir constantly for one, two minutes until the mixture is smooth and bubbly. No. Gradually pour in the whole milk, whisking constantly to prevent lumps from forming. Good grief. Continue cooking and whisking until the mixture thickens and bubbles. Yeah. Remove the saucepan from the heat and stir in the grated cheddar cheese and grated Parmesan cheese until the cheese is melted and the sauce is smooth. Mercy. Season the sauce with salt and pepper to taste. Woo. Add the cooked elbow macaroni to the cheese sauce and stir until well combined. Serve the mac and cheese hot, garnished with additional grated cheese if desired. There you have it. But don't expect me to be impressed. It's just mac and cheese. <laughs> After all... <laughs> okay, well, if I'm going to have fried chicken and mac and cheese, what's the best beverage to have with that? Well, I suppose you could have iced tea or lemonade with your fried chicken and mac and cheese. They're both refreshing and help to balance out the richness of the meal. But don't overdo it, or you'll be running to the bathroom all day. <laughs> well, what if I want white wine or red wine? White wine can be a good choice to pair with fried chicken and mac and cheese, especially if it has a crisp acidity that can cut through the richness of the food. A dry rose could also work well in this case. As for red wine, it can be a bit more challenging to pair with fried chicken and mac and cheese. True. But a light-bodied red such as Pinot Noir or Beaujolais could be a good option. Wow. However, keep in mind that wine is a matter of personal preference. So go with what you like best. Well, what about beer? Maybe that's better. Sure. Beer can be a great option to pair with fried chicken and mac and cheese. A light-bodied lager or pilsner can be a refreshing and crisp complement to the rich flavors of the food. An amber ale or brown ale could also work well, as they have a bit more body and complexity that can stand up to the bold flavors of the meal. As always, the best beverage choice ultimately comes down to personal preference. So go ahead and enjoy what you like best. Well, I think I need some vegetables to go with that meal. Any ideas? That's a great idea. Adding some vegetables to your meal can provide some balance and nutrition. A simple green salad with a light vinaigrette can be a refreshing and healthy addition to your fried chicken and mac and cheese. You can also saute some greens like spinach or kale with garlic and olive oil for a tasty and nutrient-rich side dish. Alternatively, you could roast some root vegetables like sweet potatoes or carrots for a hearty and flavorful complement to your meal. What about a dessert? Maybe I should have a dessert with this. 
if you have room for dessert after your meal. There are many options that can complement your fried chicken and mac and cheese. One classic dessert that pairs well with this type of meal is apple pie. The tartness of the apples and the sweetness of the cinnamon can balance out the savory flavors of the chicken and cheese. Ooh. Another great option is a fruit cobbler or crisp, which can be made with seasonal fruits like berries, peaches, or apples. The buttery crumble topping can provide a nice contrast to the crispy fried chicken and creamy mac and cheese. If you prefer something a bit lighter, you can make a fruit salad or sorbet. These options can be refreshing and help cleanse your palate after a heavy meal. Of course, you could always go for a classic vanilla or chocolate ice cream, which is a perennial favorite and pairs well with just about any dish. Wow, I'm really hungry now. You've got me so hungry. I apologize if I made you hungry. Hopefully, you will enjoy your meal and find it satisfying. Let me know if there is anything else I can assist you with. After the meal, how soon should I go to sleep? It's generally recommended to wait at least two to three hours after eating a meal before going to sleep. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to dream about you all night long. Speechless. <laughs> Sorry, I embarrassed you. <laughs> 